Hey there everyone, this is Cypher, welcome back to my playthrough of Katrina Odyssey 3, and in this part we're going to continue exploration of the 20th floor. First thing we want to do is go over to the right. We're not going to go, well, actually, yeah, there is nothing down, so let's go down first. Yes, yeah, that's right, this is, <laughs> right is the way of progress. you think going through a gate would signify progress, but no. There's an item point down here, and that's pretty much all I need to cover that's down here. I believe it is a chop point. It should be a chop point. I'm thinking it is a chop point. Please be a chop point. Yes, it is a chop point. And I'm gonna sit here and gather stuff real fast. BRB. Alright, now that that's been settled. Next, we want to go to the right. And we'll go through another teleporter that's gonna go beyond a room, which we're actually supposed to be in in order to get out of here. But, of course, there has to be... Many, many twisty turns on the last floor of the main game, so here we go. Go through lame teleporter gate number one, end up on the other side of lame tele teleporter gate number two. That takes you to the same spot that teleporter gate number one started you with. So, yeah, let's not go back to backwards through teleporter gate number two, shall we? Now, we want to... Now, uh, there's, there's a big giant loop here, and you know what? No, you don't know. I have- I can't assume that you do know. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I'm going to map the loop and I'm going to see you guys in a few seconds. Alright, here's the loop that I just went in a circle around. We need to go south on the exit nearby D- well, uh, there's an exit right here which we're going to go down soon enough, and there's a shortcut over here that we have no access to yet. Now, let's go to yonder camp spot that is obviously behind this wall. It's a 3x3 three three usual camp spot room, but this camp spot room is more important than other camp spot rooms in that it has two shortcuts associated with it. <sighs> That's it. There's, there's two shortcuts associated with it, and these two shortcuts are pretty much what's going to get you from this stratum to the next. Fast. The other shortcut is on this side, and we'll bring you back here, which makes getting to the sixth stratum so that's available on the end of the. If you want ever want to get to the end of, the, of this floor fast, you're gonna want the shortcut enabled, and of course that's the goal of this episode today. Now, first, I'm gonna. Well, not I say first, but then I actually use something that I didn't want to do first. But what do you know? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from daytime to nighttime, and there's why. However, before we change it from daytime to nighttime, I'm going to stand right here. Because I am have absolutely... Because this is where my previous test recording failed. So I know everything up to this point. Well, it's mostly because the Divine Judge ran into me and killed me, and he, he went in a direction I didn't expect him to. Obviously, that's just death around here. So let's pull up in our safe scroll, and I'm gonna start spamming horseplay until it's seven o'clock. It won't take that long. Felt nostalgic and started talking about past exploits. Others join in, <laughs> in the conversation, shutting down all progress and investigation for an hour. Sweet. Thank you, Vincent. You have a lot of experience compared to these chumps. Where are you going? No. Uh, the Okay, I was wondering when he was going to switch to the horizontal vertical. Last time he just saw me and ran straight into me. So this is where the test recording fa failed, because it, it ran into me for some reason, and I, didn't, I wasn't quite sure why, but, you know. We have to... Th yeah, this is... You have to come here during the night, so I recommend coming through this, this time. I want you to go through it during the night, and to get this done. Because otherwise you can't get past this FOE. You can spam horseplay or you can use the chance spots, whichever way you want to waste time if you're already in here. But I think it is just a lot easier if you just make it nighttime before you even come. And that's what I recommend. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going back to let's see here, and I don't know what I'm doing. So, I'm going to map the local vicinity and I'm going to show you if anything interesting happens. Alright, it looks like we have a treasure room over here. May or may not be shortcuts in this room. So it's a quick room right here. Like, like so. Scan the top for any shortcuts that may or may not be available, and let's see what we got. Right! All 60 slots are being taken by items. That's 
Very nice. Me, let's drop some. Yeah, let's drop some in. All right, treasure chest. What do you have for me? Free nectar too. Sweet. Very generic item. Very easy to get to, and very very useful. So it's nice to know that you're, it's there. Go grab it. It, it just wants a hug. All right. So that's everything about the general vicinity, and we're on our last safe strolls because Whitney, the girl Whitney, just is. The only one left with TP, so we'll see just how much longer I can keep walking before I have to turn back and try this again, so I'm not wasting steps. I'm not sure if I'll be able to brute force safe scroll through here anymore, which is not very assuring. So let's go through this gate and see where it takes us. Oh hey, there's the way to the next stratum over there, you can see it, it's the gray poles over... Mm, I can't drag the symbols over there. I, I'm guessing you can see it. It's the gray poles on the right, in between the gate, the Tory thing. And we're approaching No Radar Town. Oh, joy. Oh, thankfully, there's a shortcut right here, just before it. Thank goodness for that. So, I'm, so I guess I'm going to teleport home. Yes, I'm going to teleport home, and I'm going to see you guys. In a few seconds, I'm gonna do another practice run through this next little area, so... I'm gonna see you guys in, like, for me, 20 minutes, for you, like, 10 seconds, so, bye. I just use safe stroll again. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, this time our goal is to get to this shortcut, which I have already had went ahead and... This is as tedious as all get out for me, but for you, this is probably gonna be very convenient. The goal is to get right there, I know how to get there, I know the routes to take, and I know how everything works. And I think that's what everyone wants to hear, is that I know how it works. Okay, the first thing you're gonna be introduced to is a five-row room with a bunch of mud and no radar, and it's just so much fun to you actually get to take. Why is the game lagging? Anyways, it's... As I said, this was tedious as all get out for me, but... Anyways, to get past this FOE is actually not that bad. I'm trying to map ahead, and even though I mapped this once and I am kind of a bit more adept at it than if I was just doing this the first time, it still bugs the crap out of me to do stuff. To do things, yes, to do things bugs the crap out of me. Alright, I'm gonna advance one more, and we got ding, nope, whoa, 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 ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, chase me, chase me, one, two, then you go right, 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 go in front of him. That actually wasn't too bad. Straight up, no radar above this, then this column, we got one here. Yes, and then we have this. And that's the entire room. That's how you get past it. There's no... It's not too difficult. It's not too confusing. It didn't take more than... It didn't take more than one try my first time, but that's probably because I actually somehow managed to stumble upon how to use the mud. But yes, that is how you get past the room. And I hope that no one has problems on it. Now... Uh, I hope you like these teleporters, because we're not going to get on the other side where we're supposed to be for a long time, because they, they just liked winding these gates up right next to each other. This is the, sec the second horizontal instance, and... I said there was two horizontal instances, and this is the second one. Yeah. And this will take you into this room, which is... You're like, okay, yeah, okay, this room. This doesn't look too bad, and then you realize you're going in a big giant effing circle. At least that's what I had to realize the first time I did this. You may have thought differently, but to me it's just, hey, we get to go in a circle now. And oh look, more no radar zones, just, you know, just to peeve me off. So we're in a nice entryway, and then we're going along this path in the same fashion that I always do. And then we wind up here, and it's like this. Ding, 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 ding. No, except that. No, well, that's no radar paint. And that's there, and then there's a door here. And, yes. So now we go back and forth, and we wait for the FOE to be in front of us. That's the only prerequisite that the FOE has to be in front of you. You can time this a little bit off. Thank 
god. So you do this. Wrap around, wrap around, wrap around. It's not quite... As you, yeah, see, it, all you have to do is make sure he gets in front of you. You'll be right, and you'll be honky door. If you have guard souls, you can shortcut pass through here. But I don't have guard souls, so... Or rain or shine, so... Forget that idea. And we'll be right here. And yeah, this didn't take too long, because this is the second take, and I know what I'm doing. And this door, and this Tori just drove me mad, because now there's two going in different directions, and I can't really mark them the way I want them to, so I just mark them like this. Door right here, this will take me straight to this room, which leads into a... Game, where are you taking me? Which takes me to this no-radar zone. This does not exist up here. And leaves us at this shortcut right here. Alright. That's as far as I got ahead, so I'm gonna... I want to call it an episode now, but I'll take a quick sneak peek on what we're doing. And s see how much I like it. <laughs> yes, yes, this is definitely next time. Hey guys, this has been Life Again, as always, I thank you for watching. Next time we're gonna hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get the rest of this floor done. Because I really do not want to do this a million times. Let me see you guys then. Bye! Well, damn. <laughs> oh. You're so funny, game.